Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Manic Miners, Lego Rock Raiders Remastered, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so I thought today we might go through, uh, and, and then possibly, I'm not quite sure, um, the only thing that I did off camera, uh, the only thing that I've done that I haven't shown you is I just went through, it's a hold -off. I just went through that mission on my own, uh, just because it's basically pretty much exactly the same Rubble, as... Rubble. That one only he throws his pen on the floor in the middle. It's basically exactly the same only with a ever so slightly different cavern, ready so for some more action? you didn't miss anything. One of our rock raiders has become lost while exploring distant caverns at the end of an underground river. Establish the rock raider HQ by building a teleport pad, power station, and support station. Once you have achieved this, upgrade the teleport pad to level two and transport down a tunnel scout. Send a rock raider to the teleport pad to train the pilot. Then take the tunnel scout and explore the river until you find the missing rock raider. Teleport in your rock raider team and find as many energy crystals as you can. When you have enough, construct your power station. Okie dokie. So, in essence, uh, in essence, what do I want to do? Um, in essence, I'm not quite sure just how much isn't this gorgeous. What the hell? Why is there that? Do you see that? No, you don't see that. That's not happening for you. Okay, sorry, ignore me. I'm talking rubbish. Um, uh, what was I talking about? I've completely forgotten. Oh, yes. What do I actually want to get done? Okay, so um, I'm not entirely sure precisely how much further uh, the series can go exactly because with the pre-knowledge of the fact that the monsters are not in the game, that kind of limits the amount that I technically technically want to show you, as it were, because I don't want to... Well, basically, Frozen Frenzy and Beyond uh, involves a lot of monsters, and I don't want to... I don't know why I've only brought down five. I've got no air conditions in this mission, so you might as well bring down loads. Um, all the missions after that are supposed to have monsters in it, almost all of them, basically, and I'm not entirely convinced how wise it's going to be to sort of go through and do those missions in a series and then have to after that then go back and do them again when the monsters have actually been implemented because the game is still in early access so I'm not quite sure exactly how wise that's going to be but we'll see what happens we'll see how far we get in this video and then we'll see what sort of uh, situation we'll do. We'll definitely do Frozen Frenzy because I well probably do Frozen Frenzy. I don't know I don't know how things are going to work. The, the, dealing with things that are in early access is always slightly tricky just like it was with uh, with Subnautica. So, anyway, I'm going to mine this area out and build us up a little bit of a base because I've shown you that multiple times now, so you know what all of that is about. Um, oh yeah, the only thing that uh, you didn't see before was, uh, if you remember, at the end of the last video, we customised Phil here, and now you can see that he has his own little hat and his, uh, his little scarf on, so that's absolutely adorable, and I love that to pieces. Anyway, I'll be back in a minute once I have gone through the, 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 the slightly slower bit. Okay, so I've mined out all of the rocks in this little area. I've built a little bit of a base, collected with plenty of resources. One thing I do want to note, though, is this. Right? This one I hear before. Right? I'd be absolutely willing to put money on that. But anyway, what I thought we could also do in this mission, if I can get it in the right place, is... Maybe I show you a big vehicle, right? Because there's some interesting uh, big vehicles, and quite importantly, they seem to have changed how some of them work. They've made some of them slightly more complicated than they used to be, which I would like to take a moment to talk to talk to you about. For starters, we have ourselves a loader dozer, which, if you're not familiar with it, is basically a large rubble clearing device. It's basically a digger. Uh, but cleans rubble, but they've changed this because they say it's now landslide immune, which is interesting because it never previously was. It was also very annoying because it was getting uh, hit by landslides, and it can also apparently reinforce cavern walls now, so that will be interesting to explore at a later date. There's also the granite grinder, which is a sort of drill on top of a walker, which now has the ability to jump over one tile for maximum maneuverability, which is interesting. It can never jump in the past. Uh, there's then this, which I think is exactly the same uh, as it used to be. I'm not very familiar with the laser mechanics, because I never really used them, because they take energy crystals. Um, was this the same? Yeah, this is much the same uh, as well. And then obviously there's this, which was never in the game before. And there's also the cargo carrier, which can carry small vehicles across water, and can be upgraded to also travel across lava. Which confuses me, because I don't quite get how that's going to work. But anyway, let me upgrade this, and let me get us 
Why can't I upgrade that? You need a mine. Oh, you need a mining laser for that? How curious. Anyway, uh, what should I get? Us? Something that's actually thinking about it. Nothing actually here is going to be useful. I've just screwed this up. We can get this though. I mean, why not, right? Why not, I say? Why not, I say? Okay, let's get this. Oh, wow. Can I try? Oh, I can drive this point in a second. Yes. Oh, I feel powerful. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. This seems monstrously dangerous. I am not equipped to deal with this. Oh, my giddy arm. This is incredible. Look at this. Look at this beast. This is amazing. <laughs> I want to see this thing carry something. We haven't really got the crystals for it, but I really want to see this thing carry something. I can upgrade this. Hmm. I can't upgrade it because I haven't got a upgrade station. I do build an upgrade station. I'm not going to have many crystals left. Let me quickly build us an upgrade station. If I can find us somewhere flat enough to build it, which is going to be quite tricky looking at this bit of ground. Um, it's going to be somewhere flat enough. Right, give me a minute. I'll quickly build us an. I'll, I'll, I'll quickly build us an upgrade station, and then we'll. Um, yeah, we'll see what we can do to upgrade this thing because it looks. I'm sorry. This thing can carry resources as well. I wonder how many it can carry at once. Well, I, I suppose we're about to find out, aren't we? Because I think, according to this thing, you can carry vehicles, right? Um, carry resources and even help with constructing buildings. Yes, it can. Large airbound transport vehicle that can carry other vehicles of any terrain. Yeah. Doesn't say whether it can carry small vehicles or large vehicles, but it, this, uh, this one specifies it's only smaller vehicles. This one just says other vehicles, so I'm hoping that means it can carry anything. And I, I think in the background of the menu screen, it's carrying uh, a large vehicle. So, thinking about it, actually, I could demonstrate another large vehicle. If you'd scooch out of the way, my friend, and get your big bum out of the way, my big, gorgeous, beautiful friend that you are. Right. Can I now upgrade this? No, that's probably because I have enough ore thinking about it, isn't it? Because I've only got 17 pieces of ore. Darn it. What if I... What if I get us... A cr that's eight, though. Ooh, that's a lot. That's a lot more than it used to be. Um, let me think about this. Yeah. Let me get us a granite grinder. Not enough resources for this vehicle. Oh, no, because some of them are being used to power buildings, aren't they? Oh, for crying out loud, what have I done? Oh, I've screwed everything up. I'm not going to be able to show you this, am I? Never mind. What if I show you it carrying a little vehicle? At least then we can mitigate this this failure somewhat. Um, yeah, let's just get a little dig, guys. Have someone get in that. There we go. Right, you get in that. Now, how do I get these to cooperate with each other? What does that say? Transport other vehicle. This one, please. Oh, goodness, it's dropped its didgeridoo behind. Oh. Oh. Oh yes, oh yes, this I like, this I like, this I like a lot, I do. This is amazing. <laughs> I get the impression this is a bit tight. This is, this is a little tight for this. Of course, this is actually very, very narrow. I don't know if um in, if this version of the game has any plans to help you uh, mine out those energy crystal seams. You must be getting close on. to the missing rock raider now. Land the tunnel scout, drill some of the walls, tunnel and see what you find. Tunnel scout. Right, how do I drop you? Um, no drop all resources or carried vehicle. There we are. What are these other buttons? Like, what's this? Toggle lights? It has lights? Wow. I think I am, uh, as they s say... That's incredible. That is absolutely, genuinely amazing. I love this thing to death. Let's get a nice, nice, nice thumbnail going. There we are. Let's get that rubble out of the way. There we are. Nice. That is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Because I know people for a long time were a little bit, well, not miffed exactly, but they were a little bit disappointed that the tunnel transport existed in a mission. You have to, like, one of, one of the missions objectives of the later points. 
When you have done this, locate the land further down the river and fly your rock raider there. All right, I'm, I'm not doing things in exactly the way that I'm supposed to be doing. I'm leaving all of these behind because they're a bit naughty of me, but never mind. Um, uh, here we are. So, um, yeah, I know people were a little bit disappointed that uh, you only basically saw this thing for two seconds in one mission and you never really it got to like use it way. or... We can't be far from him now. Or really take advantage of it. And this is actually really cool. <laughs> this is really, really nice. In one of the bigger missions, this could actually be really... Um, oh gosh! Oh gosh! Amazingly fun. Near here. I don't think I'm on a, like a flat enough bit of land. Whoa! 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 What? Drop all resources of transported vehicles. Pick up resource. What? Simply, simply shows you have this ability. Um. I would like to drop my vehicle, please. Have I done that? I don't know. I can't see it. Um. Could you come? Uh, could you go stand over there, please, my friend? Wow. That is a. Beast of a machine. Well, that makes things so much more effective. Hi, friend. I hope you're doing all right. Um, yeah. Does that mean I've unlocked him then? Have I have I unlocked him as a as a as a as a man that I can he say hello to? I suppose. Wow. Yes, I have. Train a pilot and use the tunnel scout to find our missing rock raider. Excellent. Mission complete. Wow, that was, a, that was a little bit more exciting than I was planning on. I wasn't quite planning on all of that uh, happening. I wasn't actually planning on much happening at all. I didn't think I was going to be able to afford to do that, but that's incredible. Right. Florida have been monitoring the movement of large, unidentified life forms that appear to be made from ice. We cannot endanger our mining activities and must defend Rock Raider HQ against any possible threat. Protect Rock Raider HQ by using the electric fences and repair any damage that occurs by training some Rock Raiders as engineers. You will need to fend off any attacks and continue to collect energy crystals until we have enough to transport the Chrome Crusher. The tunnel transporter is in a nearby cave waiting to airlift us to a safer cavern, but our only way of reaching it is by drilling through hard rock with a Chrome Crusher or using dynamite to blast our way through. Take care, Rock Raider. But wait, there's more. New information has arrived. The developer has not implemented these large unidentified life forms yet. You will have a much safer trip through this cavern however next time you come back you might not be so lucky build up your base and make sure it's heavily defended indeed so basically this is the goodness we haven't even started yet and everyone's shouting at me um this is the first mission whereby the um the what i've completely forgotten what i was talking about the monsters are implemented but of course they're not implemented yet because they're not in the game yet which means uh we can't actually have fun playing with them which is a bit of a shame but i hopefully can still show you a few things i'd like to show you like a lot sorry i'll hopefully show you like a large drilling vehicle in this mission um i'd certainly like to show you me um uh, uh like erecting some stop it some electric fence around the place obviously there's no point because electric fence is a defensive perimeter designed to um defend you from uh monsters but since there aren't any monsters, that's going to make things quite difficult to do, obviously. So, um, hopefully we will still be able to have a bit of good fun with this, I'm hoping. So, this mission is also nice because it has a little, it has a little. Um, this is a rather serious problem. This is a very serious problem. Um, yeah. You clear that rubble, my friend. You drill that. Just because we haven't actually got a, a, um, a, uh, um, uh, canteen going yet. Sorry, it's, it's late. My brain is really shutting down. Um, we haven't got a canteen yet, which is obviously going to make things quite dangerous at the moment. Because, of course, we can't actually, you know, look after people. So, yeah, I just want to be really careful because if one of these people die assuming that it operates on the old system they'll be gone forever and I'll have to beam someone new down and then they won't have any of the upgrades and the trainings that for example Phil has got so that's going to make things a wee bit wee bit problematic so um never mind any of that uh give us uh, uh just as before give us a few minutes I will um sort out a a bit of a base, a bit of a staging ground, and then we'll get like a large drilling vehicle, and we'll have a bit of fun with that, and we'll uh, we'll we'll have some power going on. Okie dokie, okie dokie. Okay, so 
I've done a lot, and I apologize for that, it took a long time, but you've seen the vast majority of the base building already by this point, so I don't want to bore you by showing you the same thing over and over again. So anyway, I have done quite a lot of mining, a lot more mining than I was actually planning on doing. I wanted to do some of this with the with the device I'm about to show you, but um, unfortunately that couldn't happen because uh, I had to go a bit further than I normally do because this thing is just so expensive. It costs eight crystals. It used to only cost five, and now they're making it cost eight. So I'm not exactly complaining, but that is very expensive. So my plan is to bring this down. Right. Bring this down. So we've got this. It's all good. It's all good. Okay. So now I want to beam up my super teleport, which allows you to see, I suppose this is something you haven't seen before, when your uh, beam are building up, in this difficulty at least, you get your resources back. So you get your crystals back, you get your ore back. Uh, you don't get that in hard mode. In hard, or it might have been, I can't quite remember what it said, I think it said you don't get the ore back. Maybe you still get the crystals, but you don't get the ore. I can't quite remember the, the specifics of it. But anyway, the reason I beamed that up is because I also want to construct a upgrade station, which you have seen before, but it's a good reason for me wanting to construct an upgrade station. And that's because this beast of a machine, right, this absolute destroyer of worlds that we have right here, is cool and all right, but she could be cooler, right? She could be absolutely mind-bogglingly amazing, but right now she's just slightly mind-bogglingly amazing. So, I want to construct us a quick upgrade station so that we can suddenly realize that we don't have quite enough ore to actually do the upgrades that we need to do. That was rather stupid of me for not checking that. But never mind, we should have enough. Once we've collected up this stuff as well, we, we should have plenty, I think. Um, yes, we should be fine. So anyway, we'll get that and we'll get uh, somebody. In fact, in fact, because I'm, you know... Just because this is me, I'm actually going to drive the Chrome Crusher. There we go. She's ready for work. Well, she will be in a moment. So, goodness. So, yes, there's different things you can upgrade. We can upgrade her engine, we can upgrade her scanner, we can upgrade her laser, and we can upgrade her drill. And it actually gives you the cost, which is lovely. So, most important thing is the engine. Oh my giddy, aren't they made her faster already? That's interesting. That's about how far she used to go once you'd upgraded her engine. I'm terrified to find out how far she'll go now. <laughs> how fast does she go now? Go over there. Not massively fast, a little bit faster. Okay, that's fine. Uh, and this is the other really important thing you need to do, is give her a drill. Because uh, this dramatically speeds up her, uh, well, drilliness. So anyway, now that we've got this, I want to check that I've actually turned the recording on. Yes, I have. That's good. And I want to show you this beast in use, right? Can I get this to... I don't get... I know, I don't think the, like, following mechanic works in this. You used to be able to program the... Right, sorry. It's just after the whole uh, driving over the spider thing, I was a bit nervous of the um, driving over men as well, just in case they... Oh, they got hurt. So no, no, it turns out it's actually fine. Uh, it's absolutely fine to drive over men. Who knew? <laughs> so anyway... This is a beast of a machine. Oh, okay, shh. This machine isn't immune... This machine isn't immune to landslides. That's an interesting development. I didn't realise that. So this machine isn't immune to landslides, but some of the larger vehicles are. Okay, right. I'm having slight difficulty manoeuvring this thing, but never mind. Arr, blast through. Right. You see how quickly we did all of that? You see all of this that we've just blown out and we found ourselves about 12 crystals. We did that in about, what, 20 seconds? I All of that that we have just done it would have probably taken me a good 20 minutes without this beast of a machine that I adore with my whole heart. So anyway, we've done that and that's all well and cool, right? But you know what would be really cool? You know what would be really, really, really cool? That would be the thing that's over here. And I want to show you that because trust me, I don't use the word cool lightly. What I'm going to show you is really, really fun. So, uh, this is a bit spooky because there's lots of things that could fall over on top of this. I'm going to go do this bit myself just so that I can be absolutely sure that nobody can. Oh, gosh, she's still getting hit even though she's on the side. Oh, this is slightly complicated my procedures, but never mind. 
Right, let me clear out a good bit of this so that it's safe for everyone. I just love this machine. I love what this machine can do. She just looks at a problem and says, screw you. Oh, gosh. You see all of these beautiful, beautiful resources. They're all ready to be done. And everything's just done in mere moments. This, my friends, this is the definition of efficiency. This is lovely, and I love this. this is <laughs> and I would absolutely love to use this thing in tandem with the tunnel transport. I don't have the resources to do it just yet, but I might do that in a minute. Once we actually start collecting up all the crystals we've got here. I don't know why I did that. I never do that. But you get the idea. Uh, once we've collected up all of these crystals, we'll have more than enough to actually um, build ourselves a tunnel transport, which might be vitally useful given how uh, uh, how much damage I am, I am taking. So um, let me quickly finish off all of this and I'll show you the absolute carnage that I've left behind in my wake. And the dozens of crystals I've left out lying all over the floor. Would be brilliant at this point to have a couple of trucks or something, but uh, uh, we'll deal with that in a moment. Right, look at all of that. Look at this huge area that I have... I have sorted out in tiny amounts of time. That is what this machine is capable of doing, and that is why I adore it. Right, anyway, enough, 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 um, just, just pure, unadulterated love for that machine for two seconds. Let's get ourselves, um, I think we've got seven people at the minute, so we can definitely account for a couple of them more, because I think the, um, Nicely, they actually tell you now how long the, um, oh, you're not trained as a driver. Dang, neighbor only brought down seven people that were trained as drivers. How stupid of me. Um, there we are. Right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Before you race off, before you race off, let's get you fully equipped to start looking after things. Let's get a, a second truck down while we're at it. There we are, and the next person who comes along, who, whoever it ends up being, we will train them as well. Um... Oh no, I don't have enough ore. It's a tell you to collect some ore. So I'll pick up some ore so that we can actually upgrade these things because it's vitally important that we do that. Just so that all of these crystals can be collected and so that something else that's very, very vitally important can be collected as well. Um, vitally, vitally important. So anyway, give me a moment to just get these uh, trucks going and start clearing up all of these gorgeous little green dots from all over the place and uh, we will have lots of fun. I'm trying to keep myself awake. Okie dokie, right, I've sorted that out now. We've got two fully upgraded trucks. They're all racing around now and getting everything cleared up, which is absolutely amazingly brilliant. And yes, a load of those would absolutely tear through here, which I could. I could show you a load of those working as well. I mean, for all I know, this is going to be the last video that I do until we, um, until the monsters are brought in. So, uh, yeah, why don't I do that? Okie dokie. Right, we'll set that to be built, and then hopefully by the time we're done here, that will be all finished. So, um, and I'm going to do this in second, in third person view, rather, uh, on purpose, because I want to, um, I want to do a nice dramatic reveal, right, of something pretty special. And if the developer has moved this, and it's not here anymore, I am going to cry. I'm sure they haven't. I'm con almost convinced they haven't. I panicked there for a minute. I couldn't see that bit of rock. Oh, yeah. This is it. This is the thing. This is the thing that I wanted to show you. The absolutely awesomely beautiful sight that is that. And if you don't think that is beautiful, I don't understand what goes on in your brain because nothing in my mind is more beautiful than that. Well, actually. I can think of one other side that's more beautiful. But that is going to have to wait quite a, while, quite a while, I imagine. We're going to have to wait until uh, a few more updates and a bit more progression has been done. But then, I promise, we will show you some honestly, truly awesome views. Anyway, allow me to... <laughs> allow me to get on with things <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to be quite so excitable, but you know, this is just, this game to me, right, this game to me is just an absolute dream come true. This is everything I, sorry, I'll get back to my uh, swooning in a moment. Um, that's not good. Um, friend, good, good friend, who are you, good friend? You are Nelson. 
It is what it was talking about, about crystals falling into the water. Because if that's what's happened, I'm going to be so, so sad. Oh, no, 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 it's fine. He just about managed it. Excellent, 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 even. Excellent, excellent. Right, sorry, crises averted. I thought one of my children was going to die then. Never mind, it's all absolutely fine. We just stop freaking out. Okay, we've got that done now. We've got that super teleport sorted out. So let me bring in, because why not show you a little bit of everything, why don't I bring in a loaded ozer? Hmm. There we go, and I'll just get somebody to drive it. There we go. Uh, in the meantime, I will send him over here to do a little bit more drilling while we're sorting all of that out. And we'll get ourselves a loaded ozer, and I can demonstrate, or at least explore, what this is, because for all I know, it's completely different now. So, um... It could be upgraded. It could be upgraded to have a better engine and that sort of thing. So let me um, admire your handiwork, my good friend. Oh. Right, anything else there of consequence? Oh, another seam. I wasn't expecting that. So anyway, let's have a look at this. Oh, yes. This, again, this is efficiency, right? This is what you get in the later missions, right? You don't have any men in anything doing any... No legs are used except to push pedals ever again when you get to higher levels or higher missions of this game, right? Everyone's in a vehicle. You have people in trucks, you have people in diggers, you have people in, in these little things, and it's all just absolutely wonderful. And I'm so, so glad about one particular thing here that always crippled the loader does that they fixed marvelously and that is the AI because the AI for the loader dozer previously was to be honest kind of terrible because you'd have like a big cavern like this right and you would have some rubble down here and you'd also have some rubble really far away like all the way up here and what the loader dozer would do is it would clean one piece of rubble like one square's worth of rubble then go to the opposite side of the map clear another square of rubble then go back down to this end of the map clear another square of rubble and she didn't move this fast in the open days right she moved about half that speed and you can imagine how tiresome that is, watching all of that horrible inefficiency there. But then it's amazing, now, because it seems to be, in fact if I try this, just to say clear this piece, it seems like they've now programmed the AI to just work on a really close section. See there, it's just gone to one over there, it's cleaning up that one, now it's gone for the one behind it, and it's just cleaning up, it's just... This is exactly what you want, right, because this is efficient. And that's what I love about this new version, right? It takes all the little kinks, all the little problems, the little mistakes, the little inefficiencies, and it just irons them out. Like, the previous game was absolutely amazing and I adore it with all my heart. Well, I will, that will never ever change no matter how amazing this becomes as time goes by. But at the same time, this is incredible because all of the fun and all of the things that I wanted out of this game, all of the ideas that I had and the little desires that I had of things, is, oh, I, I just wish this could just be a little bit different. Now, all those things have come true. All those ideas can be fulfilled. All of those things that I want to do, like this, there's now corner textures with seams, which was never a thing before. It's just all these little tiny, tiny details, which might seem small and meaningless, but they just take what was otherwise a fantastic experience and they turn it into something that is honestly not just a pleasure to play, but a privilege to play. And it's, it, oh, it sounds utterly stupid and moron to say this, but it's, it's like an honour almost just to play this in, in the stupidest, most ridiculous way. And I don't know how that comes across. Maybe that comes across as stupid. Maybe it comes across in the way that it really is, which is just that I absolutely adore the original to this game, and seeing something like this created is just absolutely amazing. It, I don't know, I can't describe it. If, if you have never, I'd forgotten this was here, if you've never played the original, and you're, you're not one of one of us crazy people that played it religiously and insanely and constantly and perpetually, right? If you're not one of those crazies, if you're a normal person that spent your childhood, I don't know, going outside and, you know, going to birthday parties and having fun and all of those kinds of things, if you weren't the kind of person that was obsessively trying to clear every single piece of rubble and collect every single piece of ore all of the time, then then you possibly don't understand the kind of the the the, the unmitigated unadulterated joy and wonder that i just 
feel experiencing this because this is just wonderful. I could not be happier with what they have made here, honestly. And and I hope that that means something to the developer if, if I were ever lucky enough that they would hear, that, hear me saying that. Honestly, this is just so fantastic. This is everything that I could have asked for and more. Because it's not just the game, but better. It's also more game. There's more here if you want to explore more. You can muck around with the tunnel transport. And you can you can have a, a jumping granite grinder. And you can have a canteen. It's just... I honestly do not have words to express how amazed at the level of quality, the level of faithfulness, and the level of sincerity that this has been made with, because I can tell. What's wrong with you? So, oh, I've noticed from time to time, if, if they're in like a oh. tight and closed space, they can't quite position the truck just on top of the resource they're trying to pick up. Sometimes they get a little bit stuck on that, but that's, you know, it's the tiniest of issues. Um, and yeah, you know, it's, it's the most minute kink in what is otherwise an absolutely fantastic thing. But, I don't know. I, I hope that it, 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 it comes across how I feel about this, because this is incredible. This is genuinely and honestly incredible. Because... I don't even know. This doesn't just achieve everything that I, I, I have always wanted out of the game. It goes further than that. It goes further than that to impress me that not only has this been done, but more than I ever thought possible was done, more than I ever wanted was done, it's found things that I didn't know I wanted, given them to me, and said, yes, you can also have these, aren't they amazing? Yes, they are amazing. This game is amazing. I love it to death with my whole heart. I will always and forever adore this, and guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to not bring this thing down, because we haven't upgraded something yet. Do we need to upgrade this? Yes, there we go. This is completely pointless, right? Because there's literally no reason to do this. But I want to do this because, guess what? It's coal! Like every single mill millimetre of, of this absolutely wonderful game that I adore. Right, you there. I don't know who you are, and I sincerely hope that you're not the person I beamed down earlier. No, you're not because you're in a truck. You're Billy! Come on, Billy. As soon as you put that down, anyway. You are going to do a job for us. You're going to get into the tunnel transport. <laughs> and then this tunnel transport is not going to start picking up any rocks, it's going to pick up the Chrome Crusher. Oh my giddy aunt! <laughs> I, oh gosh, I'm not entirely convinced I was supposed to do that. This is just my heaven, right? I think that's literally the only way that I can describe it. I know the phrase heaven on earth is, is, is horribly abused, um, uh, but seriously, this is just heaven. Right, get out of there. That, that I, I literally just wanted to pick that up so we could make a, a snazzier thumbnail. <laughs> But seriously, seriously, I, I, I don't even know what to say. Right, where's my loader dozer gone? Where is she? Uh, there she is, right. Okay, right, enough. Enough orgasming, nerdgasming, whatever the word is. Enough of, oh gosh, the moment you bust through. Right, enough, enough, enough silly billiness. Let's stop being a silly billy for a moment and start panicking about the amount of damage that this thing is taking. Um... Repairing vehicles. How can I do that? Can I instruct someone to repair? Ooh, get vehicle repaired! Yes, this is going to be amazing. Right, who are you? You need to drop this. Who are you? I want to know your name. You are Nat. Come on, Nat. Get yourself a spanner. You need yourself a spanner. Because you, my good friend, get vehicle repair. Ooh. Oh, do you not? Ah, does that use up all? No, I don't know what they used up. You can now use the upgrade station to repair vehicles! <laughs> Previously you just had to, well, 
live with it, basically. You either had to just live with it, or you could beam up the vehicle and beam back down again, which was a pain, because then you lost the upgrades and you had to redo the upgrades, which obviously were expensive in terms of all. I... To, to return to what I was saying, sorry, I know I lose my train of thought so much and I know how annoying that is. It's annoying in editing even, yeah, so I can't possibly imagine how annoying it is in real life, but, um... People, people, people say things like heaven on earth and they just mean something really good. Right? But this is genuinely, actually, physically, my heaven on earth. I could not ask for more. I could not ask for better. I could not ask for anything on earth beyond this, because this is quite possibly the most enjoyable thing I can possibly imagine, right? And that maybe sounds a bit sad, right? That this game from 21 years ago, 22 years ago nearly, has just been remade with a few more bells and whistles and nicer graphics and sharper AI. And I'm describing it as the world's greatest thing, and I love this to pieces with my whole heart, right? You might look at that and think, sheesh, that's sad. And you know what? You're welcome to do that, because you know what? You're probably right, but I don't care. This game has made me happier than I have been in years, all right? And I don't care who knows that, right? This game is absolutely, unbelievably, wholeheartedly, 100%, and will forevermore be something incredibly special to me. This is just, this is just so good. I just love this so much. And I am so grateful to the developer for making this, like seriously. Whoever you are, wherever you are, whoever you are, wh whatever is going on in your part of the world, I don't care. I just love you, right? I just love you with my whole heart, right? This is just the greatest thing in the history of the universe. Anyway, I'll try to stop gushing and so what? <laughs> Excuse me. There's not many things in this game that surprise me. That certainly has. Why have we just revealed reinforced wall? Is that just to mark that this is the um like the next part of this is an undiscovered cavern? Let's have a look on the map. Yes, it is. Interesting though. Hmm. I wonder if that's because it's meant to be like Oh, look at that. Because <laughs> it's meant to be like uh um, they like reinforced it from the other side, so when you reveal it on this side, it's reinforced. I don't know. I don't know why that's happened. I don't quite understand. But hey, do I care? No, because guess what we found? We found the... Well done! You have recovered the cavern containing the tunnel transporter. This will now take all of your rock raiders to safety. <laughs> oh my giddy oh, this is amazing. I love this so much. Just look at all of this. Can we now get a better idea of how much this can carry out of curiosity? How much has it got in it? I think it's got about four? I think. Oh, this is amazing. Hi! Hello! I love you to pieces! You're amazing! Do something amazing with your life! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just... I wish I could convey properly what this all means to me, and I don't think I ever will be able to, but if I ever possibly could, then, you know, cool. <laughs> this is amazing. This is amazing. Anyway, I think that's enough of Frozen Frenzy. I'm sorry there weren't any monsters in it, but, um, let's, um... You got the tunnel transport just in time. Good going. Mission complete. <laughs> 171 crystals. <laughs> 50 minutes I was playing that. That is really good. What a lot of fun. Their own works. Oh, I might do one more mission, because I don't think either what of these fun. have monsters in them. I don't think either of these have monsters in them. And this one allowed me to show you a lava works. world, and this one allowed what me to show you, um, well, something. I don't quite know what it would allow me to show you, but it would allow me to show you something. So, anyway, I don't quite know how long that's going to be um, in, in terms of actual footage, because I know I spent the vast majority of my time gushing about things, and for that, I apologise. But anyway, that is enough of this 
for one day. I don't think my heart can take it anymore. Any more swooning will probably give me some sort of a heart attack. But anyway, I'm a very happy man. I hope you are happy as well. I hope you are doing well. Thank you so much for joining me for this truly, truly marvellous, incredible game. Thank you so much, the developer, for making this and, 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 and everything else. So, just thank you so much. Look after each other and good night.